I spent um, 19 years of my life in heating and cooling, air conditioning. I once had a mathematician tell me that, that I fascinated him because I rationalized my job the same way that he rationalizes numbers. I used to rationalize air conditioning um, like the human anatomy because it operates just like the human anatomy. You've got your evaporator coil, which it pulls air in and then it blows cold air out. So that is the lungs of the air conditioner. You've got your copper lines that passes the refrigerant through the compressor. The compressor is actually the heart of the machine. Okay, and then you've got your contactor. These are the little bells and whistles, the ticker, the brain, the circuit board. You, it, the, the air conditioner runs just like the human anatomy. Now, my job used to be to install air conditioners. Then I went into service. Then I went into sales and marketing. Now, in sales and marketing, we're trained to go out and talk people who have a perfectly good running air conditioner into buying a new one because it's more efficient. It's more technologically advanced. It'll save you more money on your air conditioner, like that new kneecap, that new liver, that new heart. Again, things like this can be argued. Well, if it wasn't for this medical treatment, my grandfather wouldn't be alive right now. How do you know that? Now, the one thing I could say, without a doubt, is that when I used to put people on a maintenance contract, we would go out every six months and we would service the air conditioner and try to talk them into buying things. Things that, for the most part, they didn't really need. Now, when man goes out every six months and they clean the coil and they clean the coil and they clean the coil and they clean the coil, they're stripping the... Uh, the uh, the acrylic off of the coil. So what happens is once the acrylic is stripped off of the coil years before it should have worn off naturally, then Florida being a salt rich environment, the salty air corrodes the coil, then the coil starts breaking apart, then it restricts the heat transfer from the air cooling off the compressor, then the compressor can't properly cool itself off, then the oil inside the compressor heats up and turns into acid and then the air conditioner dies years before its mechanical lifespan technically should have been up. It's the same thing with man. If man lives, chooses to live a healthy life, eating high energy foods, raw foods, raw vegetables, he gets exercise. He doesn't go in and shoot up steroids and abuses his body where he's got fucking shoulder muscles out to here and, you know, there's a fine line between being healthy and getting exercise in moderation and just being a health nut and just going way overboard with it. Everything technically is good in moderation, but if you abuse it, you're going to kill yourself. You're going to stress your heart out. You're going to stress your organs out. If you get up and you walk and you get good cardio and you exercise your muscles a little bit so that you have muscles and they don't reach a catabolic stage where they start to deteriorate. Anything that you don't use on your body is going to eventually deteriorate. So you want to use it to keep it strong and healthy, to keep blood pumping through your veins, but you don't want to overdo it to the point where you're stressing out your heart and your organs. Same thing with an air conditioner. The more you service it and tamper with it, the more you're reducing its mechanical lifespan. The more man abuses his own body, the more man goes to the doctor and gets treated for things that technically was never even fucking wrong with him. The more man decides to try out new experimental drugs because it might possibly save your life. When all you had to do to begin with was change your diet, get a little bit more exercise, and then your blood pressure would have lowered. Then you wouldn't have had that heart attack. You guys see where I'm going with this? The more man's body gets fucking tampered with, the more you're reducing the mechanical lifespan of your body. Practice healthy living in moderation. Don't overdo it. Don't overwork out. You know, you're going to kill yourself in the end. In the end, the only one true guarantee that man has is that one day our physical bodies will expire. So practice healthy living. Practice meditation. Become one with source energy. Draw source energy into your forehead while you're meditating. 
if you actually vision energy being pulled into your pineal gland, you're actually drawing cosmic energy into your pineal gland. The more you do that, the stronger your pineal gland gets, the more in tune with source energy you become. <clears throat> Stay away from the doctors, practice healthy living. I mean, unless you're just that person that feels you got to go to the doctor for every little thing, then, you know, that's part of your path, man. That's your journey. Part of my journey is staying as far the fuck away from doctors as I can. <clears throat>